goes the coin as Rill meet Chester for the Welsh Cup final at Bangor before a crowd of 9,000. Rill in white shorts kick off and straight away start a forcing movement towards the Chester goal. The situation looks dangerous for Chester, but goalkeeper Port is there to save this time. But it's only a matter of minutes before Rill gets one past him and Chester, led by Travis, hammer away at the Rill goal to get the equaliser. A free kick against Rill gives Chester a chance and a cracking shot puts it in the net. Rill and Chester are one all. But hardly have the Chester players had time to congratulate before Spendlove slams another into the net to put Rill in front again. That makes three goals within five minutes, a really sensational start to the final. Griffiths gets ready to face a free kick. Looks like another chance for Chester. From a rebound, Wendell gets it and takes a fierce shot, but it's just wide of the net, and the score stays at Rill 2, Chester 1, until half-time. Chester attack after resumption. There's an appeal for handling, but play goes on. Chester keep pegging away at the Rill net but they cannot penetrate that solid defence to even the score up again. Play swings to the other end as Rill pile on the pressure. A centre over to Spendler, and he taps it into the Chester net, but he's offside, and the goal is disallowed. The score is still Rill 2, Chester 1, when the final whistle goes. So Captain Tom McKillop collects the Welsh Cup on behalf of his team and takes it back to Rill again.